So I've three broken pressure washers here, something different wrong with each of them, and I'm gonna try and make one good one out of all three. Here we go. Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you'd like to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, and a ton of other DIY projects, today we're actually fixing pressure washers. You could start now by subscribing and click on the bell notification so you don't miss anything. So this is how I got them. I haven't done anything with them. We've got um, capacitors hanging out of them. I've got bits missing, the switch is not working. The switch on this one looks complete, but I've heard that the, the motor's gone on it. So somehow or other, we're gonna make one decent pressure washer out of all of them. Okay, so the wiring on this is very easy. We've got neutral blue we've got live which is the brown so these are straight in off the cable this is the mains coming in it, it goes through this switch and it comes out as live so brown on the brown side goes through a couple of switches one is a load switch trip out switch another one is a micro switch and then when it comes out of the micro switch it goes in as black into the motor the neutral comes in as blue goes through this switch this on off switch and comes out as red again into the motor so these that white and blue different type of cable on these two red connectors that's the capacitor the black and the red are easy as well so we've got the black is the live in and the red is the neutral in so to put this back together this sits on a rail this little tab here it just pushes down between a couple of slides and that holds down in position this micro switch sits over two little posts here and here but these are actually stick out of the, the plastic unit and this literally sits down over them so a little bit tricky to line up okay, so that's it in this is in this thing is a cam okay when i rotate the switch it does that and it sits down over a post in here so there's a pivot point that goes inside this inside that hole here it sits over that so again I have to put this thing back in it goes this way and it's just there we go all right so that's everything there and now we just tentatively put this back on. It only goes on the one way because of the shape of the box. Offer this up. And they clip on. Let me show you that. So just to let you know, we fuses and an RCD unit controlling the electricity in the shed here. So if something happens, there won't be a big bang. <laughs> I hope. Let's push this in. All right. Okay, brilliant. I don't know if the pump works in this thing or not, but we know that the motor is spinning. So got it back together. These are simple now, there's not much in them. So that's our live coming in. And just to see if this motor works. We're gonna plug the live into the brown. So we've, this is our live all the way through. So this is from the mains. It's gonna go through my jumper, through all this stuff and onto the black and the black goes directly into the motor. Right. Now we need to get a neutral into the motor. So neutral is this blue. and that red so we're going to just introduce them to each other so we're looking for this to spin up okay here we go yeah did you hear that that's very good i've bypassed everything right that's totally unsafe we're plugged out now so now we're safe um, don't want to get a, a belt off the capacitor, we just take that out. We take this out. This is insulated pliers. So the brown and the black. Brown is the live in, and black is the live to the motor. Blue is the neutral in, 
and red is the neutral to the motor. Okay, so I don't know what's going to happen when we plug this in. This is the plug off it and maybe you can see the light on it. Again, I don't know what's going to happen here. So let's see if it works. Um, whoa. Okay, so it spins. It's noisy, I don't know what's going wrong. So we're gonna pull this apart and see what's wrong. Okay, so this is the first one. I haven't tried this. I wanna give it some water and I wanna give it some power and we'll see what the story is. Okay, so here's the water. I have to go outside now and switch that on. And here's the power. I think we're off on the main switch. Okay, we are. So that's it, power. And um, we'll just see if the switch is on. Okay, it does, right. So uh, it's looking not too bad. Um, after this, I don't know. I'm gonna put the water on and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's not good, I hear water. Absolutely pissing out. Okay, shite. All right, get you in there so you can see it. Yeah. All right, that's not good. It looks like something is split. And uh, I'm not sure what the story is. So this one is split on the casing or something. We're gonna pull the pump out of this one and see there was no point in switching it on because it uh, would have just made it worse. So, okay. <laughs> one down and <laughs> not working. But at least we know the, the motor spins on this one. So we've got a motor and we'll see what the story is with the second one. Okay, let's hope it's better than this one. Okay, so I've just put the lance on this one in case we do get a bit of pressure out of it or it works. I'm not sure. Um, now I can't plug it in yet because uh, there's gonna be no switch on this one. So this is dodgy. Now this is sketchy. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's bridge these out. So this is brown. This is the live end. This is from the cable going outside, you know, that you would plug into the wall. So that's brown. I've got a little jumper cable I've made. That brown is gonna to go to this black. The black is the feed into the motor itself. The brown is from the wall, from your outlet. So we've got red and blue. So blue is from the outlet here in Ireland. That's the neutral. And the red is the neutral into the motor. Okay, so I've got a couple of spade connectors and that's it. So dodgy enough. And we've got a wet floor, which is fantastic. <laughs> now, since the last one, I put a non-return valve on this one. So if I press this, water comes out. So it's actually live. I'm just gonna shove this on really quick. All right, cobwebs and everything in this thing. So we've got water. We've got the power kind of maneuvered, bypassed just for now. So if this one works or something happens positive from this one, we can take parts off this one and throw them onto the other one. But at the moment, we're just gonna find out what works and what doesn't. There's nothing dripping out of it yet anyway. Well, now she's caught on, she's not unloaded. That may mean she made pressure. So let's, let's try the lance. Okay, so that's just, tap pressure going out of that. So by pulling the trigger, I've unloaded the motor. So let's, let's see what happens. Okay. So the motor doesn't switch off, that's because there's no switches on it. But this is brilliant, this means I have a pressure washer. Now I, I was given these by my brother-in-law. He said they might work, something's wrong with one, there's something wrong with the other one, and so on. So we need a switch for this one, but we have a switch in the first one. The pump in the first one is leaking, so I, don't, I haven't taken that apart yet. Uh, pump in this one seems to be working, which is great. And we have a third one then, with a brass pump, and Jamie said that the brass pumps are best. So maybe we'll pull the pump off this one, which I'm kind of reluctant to do because 
<laughs> it's working, you know, but we have a working motor anyway and a working pump. We just need to put the safety stuff back in this one. So I started this project with three pressure washers. One pump complete, but no body. Two full bodies, uh, one with wrecked wheels. Um, and I had to swap the pump off one onto the motor of another and so on. But you know, easy enough to do. It's just literally split things down and just swap them over. If you can do Lego, you can do this stuff. But I've ended up with a great little pressure washer for no money. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> so look, I have water on here, okay? and I had to change out the pressure switch on this one uh, for the pressure switch on another one. So I had to take this off it. I'll just show you that there. I probably could have refurbished this one, probably could have taken it apart and, uh, and cleaned it and whatever. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but because I had another one, I didn't even have to do that. I just literally took four bolts out took off the one on this one and put another one in. So, you know, I've been swapping around parts to get this working. It was pulsing, but there you go. Look, it's switching on. And off, and it's not pulsing. So, you know, I have one decent pressure washer. For no money, just a little bit of time. Um, I like fixing stuff, so it's, it's nice to do it. The, uh, the top end, this part, you know, it's, it's like the cylinder head on a car or equivalent. It goes here and it pushes in the little um, micro switch. You know, so when it gets loaded up, it moves this, pushes the micro switch and shuts it off. Problem was, this wasn't moving enough to do it or it was getting stuck as well. Um, as I say, probably could have cleaned it out and fixed it, but didn't bother. So, all I've left to do now is literally find it um, or print, 3D print maybe, four little plastic clips to go on this and it literally just goes on there <laughs> oh you love it when it works out don't you okay so look <laughs> so that's it all you need is somebody to give you all the parts you need for free and you can have a pressure washer for no money but that's actually what happened to me so thanks very much Jamie so look I'm gonna leave it there for now if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe down here that'd be fantastic I'll see you all in the next video bye for now good luck